Hi guys, I'm Nathan. And I'm Haley. And recently we did a British candy box and we got a lot of really good reviews on it and um, tons of comments and we're really thankful for that. So thank you guys. Yes, thank you. And if you wanna see our first British candy box review video, you can find that up here in yes. the link in the corner. Yeah, so today we bought another one, hooray! Yeah! And we'll link that below too, um, in case you wanna buy your own. Also, go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, and ring the bell notification icon so you can be reminded every time we post a new video. Also, like the video if you liked it. Yes, please. <laughs> yes. Well, let's get into this box. Yeah, while he's opening that, I just wanted to mention we have tea. Sorry, that might have been crinkly. We have tea this time, and we were told by many subscribers um, that tea will help cleanse the palate between tastings. So we kind of thought that might be fun. Yes. A special shout out to all of you who mentioned that. <laughs> yeah, all of our uh, viewers from across the pond. Yeah. Um, so thank you. Uh, I was told that we should get Earl Grey tea, that that would be a good one to use. So <laughs> all right. let's see what's inside. Yeah, so the first thing we get is just a little letter. It's just a nice little hello from Kate and Alex. Yes. And then they uh, just give a nice loud tissue paper. I'm excited to see what we got this time. All right, so let's see. Are we placing them all out? Uh, why not? Let's put a few out there and uh, <laughs> okay, go from good. there. Yeah. Um, what do you want first? I don't know. Uh, let's grab one of these. This thing looks cool. It is a wagon wheel. That's pretty neat. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see what this even is. Is yeah. there a description? Nope. Uh, just says allergy information. It says epic inside. That's pretty cool. So. All right. Looks like there's some kind of creaminess or something to it. Ooh, it, look at it. It reminds me of our moon pies. Yeah, moon pies made in Chattanooga, Tennessee, I do believe. Yes. Do you want to go ahead and break, break it? All right. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Oh, that was oh. good. It's like a marshmallow. Yeah. It was like kind of cookie and then, uh, or cookie slash cake. I'm not really sure. Yeah, very much like the, the moon pie. Yeah. So I'm let's curious. see what it tastes like. I'm sure it'll taste completely different. Hmm. Mm hmm. It's really good. Now we will be rating these with our uh, 1 through 10 scorecards. Mm -hmm. um, since our last uh, British candy box video, we upped our scoring from one to five to one to 10. Yeah, one to five was too difficult. So one to 10 kind of gives us more playroom. Yeah. Um, so we'll score those once we figure out what we think. Um, I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, definitely different than a moon pie. So don't get confused with that. Um, similar makeup, but tastes completely different. The cookie outside is a little more- Dense. Yeah, a little more dense. Where little... moon pies are chewy. Yeah. That's great though. That's really good. Sorry, while well, I- Stuck my face. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and rate this one. Mm. It's really good. All right. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. I did I, a seven. I did a ten. Yeah. I really like that. That's kind of my um, favorite type of like chocolate marshmallow cracker combination. So. All right. With that, I think we should take a. Sip oh of yeah. Tea. Let's let's cut into the palate. That does do the trick. Yeah, that is nice. All right, your turn to pick. All right, let's see. Let's just do one of these out front here. Um, Dolly Mix. Barat, maybe? Um, all right, official colors. Again, no just description. Let's see. Experience the tongue-twisting world of Barat. All right, well, it just looks like a little, like, yeah, some kind of little candy. Let's see what happens. All right. They're coming different colors. What color would you like? I wanted to look at it. Oh, okay. All right, I'll just do that and then I'll... Okay, does, I took a pink one. You want to try a pink option? one at the same time? Sure. And we'll try others at the same time. I don't yeah, know if yeah. they're going to be different or not. <laughs> I don't know. Ready? Yeah. Hmm. Wow, super sweet. Yeah, very sweet. But there's no artificial flavors or colors in it, so that's pretty cool. I did this one next. The, did, yeah. the color, uh, did the taste change? Yeah, I feel like it did. It's more chocolatey. Yeah, I feel like this is orange. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very interesting. A little bit different. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to just rate it? Let's go ahead and rate it. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to say about it exactly. All right, I'm ready. 
Okay. Three, two, one. One. Six. It's not my kind of thing. I will enjoy those, um, but in the moderation because they are very sweet. Yeah. It's kind of a nice sweet. It's a good flavor, uh, but it's very sweet. One, two. Yes. I had to cleanse my palate. That was very sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. Well, there's this fun thing. It's like hand wrapped. Let's see what's in here. That is neat. Reminds me of just going into like a local candy shop kind of thing. And yeah, and that's sort of what you get. You get yeah. like an assortment of the little gummies and stuff. Oh, look at that. That's cool. There's like yeah. little uh, skeletons. Skulls. <laughs> Skulls. Uh, like strawberries? Yeah, it's a strawberry. Okay. From the other side. Then like a heart and star non pareil. Huh. That's cool. That is cool. Oh, so, I'm excited about these. So, should we just each have one? Yeah, might as well. Okay. That's good. That reminds me of um, just like some of the fruit snacks that we get here, but a little harder, which is either because it's cold out right now <laughs> or because it's like more natural ingredients. Um, I like this. This is very nice. Yeah. I would eat a whole bag of them. Yeah. I, I, mm -hmm. I want to reiterate what she said about natural ingredients. Um, a lot of people commenting on our other BCB box video was saying that um, in the UK, they use all natural ingredients. They're not allowed to use artificial stuff. So mm -hmm. that's uh, that's nice. That's really nice that you can get good flavors with natural ingredients. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to try part of this. Can we just like yeah, split some? Here, I'm just going to tear this in half. Too. Okay. There we go. I feel like it's going to be like one of those ropes. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is so good. Yeah. That is childhood coming back. Yeah, it's like... I um, love that. Fruit by the foot. Yeah, or um, ah, there's other things like that where they're, they're they have that sour, mm -hmm. uh, sugary outside. Yeah, though it's very good. Oh, that is good. I'm curious about the non pareil one too. Okay, do you want to? That like, yeah, just snap it. I feel like this is just in time for Valentine's Day because it's like a little heart. Yeah. Though I have a feeling there might be a Valentine's themed box. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> is it a chocolate? I'm not quite or, sure. I don't know is what it, that is, but or that is it was like neat. A, it might be like a cookie with a chocolate coating with non pareils on it. Was there actually a cookie in there too? I totally missed that. I'm assuming that this is similar. So I'm going to look inside. I don't see any kind of... I think it's just the non pareils that gave it a crunchiness. There's a really good vanilla. I know. Something that flavor, flavor is so good. Oh, I want a bag of those too. Yeah. If anyone wants to send one, contact us. And these are, these are chewy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so, good luck with that. You can I'm, take a bite. Yeah, I'm not going to try that. <laughs> I'm not going to bite into that either. <laughs> um, I guess we're just each having That's our own. That's fine. That works. I'll try to take a teeny tiny bite. Good luck. Similar to the strawberry, but definitely, um, yeah, it's a definitely harder. Not quite like the strawberry. I'm probably not saying that. I right. think there's more gelatin in it. I think that's what makes Something it more like that. Uh, dense and chewy and hard yeah. to get through. All right. So all right. do we rate this as a bag, like one, or do we rate them individually? I would go with just one. That's yeah. Let's go with one because it seems like it was just a, a stop at the local candy store. Candy shop. Yeah. I love that. It's one of my favorite places we go in like the local town here is the little candy shop. Yeah. All right. Ready? Ready? Go. I did a seven. I did a ten. You this like... is right up my alley as far as like fruity candy gummy kind of things go. I love them. I'll eat them all day. The, they remind me of a lot of the old fashioned candies, which is yeah. kind of nice. Yeah. It, it is really childhood coming back. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's your turn to pick. Okay. Um, let's just see this. Fudge. Cadbury fudge or Cadbury. I never know how to say it. I'm so sorry. Fudge covered with milk chocolate. That's simple. I'm just going to take a chunk. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a little different than I expected. It's like kind of gritty inside instead of like uh, fudge I might know. Right. Mm, it's soft though. Mm. I could eat that whole bar too. That was really good. That reminded me a little bit of the uh, marzipan 
Mm -hmm. um, a little bit. Bar thing that we just got from our uh, last box, which was Universal Yums. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, I like that. I did like that. Yeah, now that it's sinking in kind of the, into my taste buds, um, it definitely, I can tell it's fudge in there. Like mm -hmm. thinking of going to a shop that has the different flavors of fudge, you can get that, that more creamy, fudgy texture. Yeah. Mm, that was good. I think we should rate it. All right. Okay. Three, two, one. I did a five. I did a nine. All right, that's something I would just eat eat right through. Yeah. Well, I mean, I liked it. It's just, it's not my favorite uh, type of chocolates. So. Yeah. Anyway. Um, let's see. I think we should pick this. Swizzles. Swizzles. Yeah, we had something from this brand before. Mm -hmm. It's called a drumstick bubblegum flavor. Squashies. Whatever a squashy is. Let me see. So this is going to be totally different. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had something like this. I do like bubblegum gum flavor, and I'm curious. I don't know. I feel like bubblegum flavor is usually very, like, artificial tasting. So I'm curious what this might taste like. And I'm hoping it's candy and mm. not gum. Yeah. <laughs> don't swallow it. I think you're supposed to swallow it. Mmm. Is it candy or is it gum? I think it's candy. It doesn't chew apart like gum. Mm. It's just bubblegum flavor. Okay. That would have said bubblegum. Just making sure. Mm-hmm. You know, because I guess gum takes forever to digest in your stomach. So they say. That was good. It definitely tasted like bubble gum, but very, very nice. Very, yeah. Very flavorful. A lot of other bubble gum flavored things I've had, uh, usually it's like, you can tell it's artificially flavored with a, some sort of like bubble gum flavoring. Yeah. And it's just not as good. This tastes like, uh, like Hubba Bubba, you know, or something yeah. like that. So. And it was just a nice gummy again. Um, so that was fun. Yeah. I like that we're getting different things as opposed to like last time. It was a lot of chocolate. Yes. There's a lot more gummies and things in here. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go ahead and rate that. All right. Okay. Okay. Three. Mm. One. <laughs> I did five. I did a seven. <laughs> we did not expect to count at the same time. I guess not. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Uh. I like bubblegum things. I just mm -hmm. don't like chewing bubblegum. It just, what I like about this is that the flavor of the bubblegum will last through the whole bit. When you're chewing gum, oh, yeah. it's just like within a minute, the gum flavor's gone. And it's just like you're chewing on plastic, which you actually are. <laughs> yeah. That's Fun never, fact of the day. Good. Here, let's do something more savory, I assume. Okay, cheese flavor, <clears throat> Quavers. I think it's Quavers by Walkers. And uh, now, are these crisps? Or are these not crisp? Is it just a potato snack? Because we got in trouble for calling crisps chips last time, and I yes. don't want to make that mistake again. <laughs> no. So whatever this is, let us know in the comments yeah. below. Yeah, what would be the general term for it? Yeah. All right. It looks like a, looks like a pork rind. <laughs> Smells good. Smells cheesy. Mmm. That's neat. Yeah. It's really airy. <laughs> it's like a, a potato cheese puff. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. That's really enjoyable. All right. This is going to be hard for me not to just keep eating those and making myself suffer with my potato allergy because those are really good. <laughs> All right. Let's look right that. Okay. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I give you a 10. I did seven. It was very good. Um, it was just cheese flavor though, so it's like didn't put it over the edge for me. I like cheese flavored things, and <laughs> I really liked the uh, you know fluffiness or the uh, airiness. That's mm -hmm. the word I was looking for of um, the potato product. It was really cool. Okay, All right, your turn. This little guy. Yeah, I've been eyeing that up. Kinder brand is Kinder Italian German. You. <laughs> Yeah, from Great Britain, not quite sure. I've had all kinds of different people saying all kinds of different things. So, what well, do want it to be? Yes. Is that like a little snowman? It's called a happy hippo. Happy hippo. Biscuit. <laughs> it's a biscuit. Oh, fun. So, oh, I got to look at it. Don't break it yet. Oh, my goodness. That is the most adorable yeah. little food I've ever seen. We were yeah. trying to show that. Yeah, I just got to like <laughs> really let you see the fact that, you know, it's a hippo with its eyes, its nose. I want to know what's on the outside. Hold on. Little, little crispy bit. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's break that off. Oh. Okay. There's like something inside of it. All right. 
Mind if I just take a bite out of this? No, yeah, go ahead. So, oh, it's very wafery. Yeah. On top. Oh, yeah, but there's yeah. like a cream inside. Mm. It's milk and hazelnut. Okay, hazelnut's what I'm starting to get. Yeah. That, oh. that is really good. Uh-huh. You're gonna eat the whole thing. No. Oh. Okay. Good, because I really enjoyed I would. this. We need more of those in this mm. box, honestly. Hmm. That flavor is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And it's so creamy. And there's so mm -hmm. much in it. Like, it's not lacking anything. Yeah, that was mm. really good. There's a lot of good stuff in this box so oh far. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so far this box is a full 10. Yeah. All right. Ready? One, two, three. 10. Yeah, 10. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> so not quite sure what else to say i mean the wafer was just like carrying the cream it was so light mm, and yeah um, i need to wash my thin me too mm. that was great yes once again thanks for the uh advice on using tea that is amazing um yeah i really like power. that yeah i don't feel like i'm being overwhelmed with sweets you know time yeah. after time yeah all right let's see all right I've been looking at this too. It's a Cadbury Dairy Milk Oreo flavor. And I'm just excited about it. There's not much more you have to say about Oreo. Okay. <laughs> oh, and they're like in little sections. Is it's it actually Oreos. like Oreo? I yeah, Well, it's it has Oreo. Oreo brand on it. Yeah, it's actual. Here you go. Okay. Oh, that's cool. It's like the Oreo Ooh. cookies and cream type thing inside. Yeah. I mean, there's even like... I don't know if you can see it on the camera. There's even like black speckliness. So you see all the little cookies in there. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be good. I hope. It is an Oreo covered in chocolate. But yeah, but better. Yeah, because it's really good chocolate. Because mm. Cadbury chocolate from the UK is really, really good. Wow. She's speechless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm just like fantasizing about when we get to eat the leftovers later. Because <laughs> there's always a little bit left over, but I don't think that these are gonna last very long. Our last box, we kept kind of eating, picking out here and there, but this is gonna disappear, I yeah. can tell you now. Yeah, oh, we need to rate that. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> ready? Three, two, one. Another 10? Yeah. yeah no, yeah, far. good. Yeah, yeah. By far, I mean, we love Oreos. Mm. Um, anything Oreo, really. Yeah, I mean. Not often. Yeah. Oreo is a bad thing. If by chance you're noticing any shadows going, <laughs> moving on back here, it's because Kita's down here in the back yeah. once again because he knows we're eating food and he wants some himself. Yeah. Poor thing. I should have given him dinner first. And yeah. I forgot. I didn't give us dinner either. That's no. probably why all of this tastes really good. Yeah. This is like our dinner. So. <laughs> okay. All right. um, and your turn? Yeah. Let's see. Another Cadbury. Dairy milk, giant buttons. So we'll see what's inside here. Now tell me, I'm very curious. There's Cadbury and then there's dairy milk and sometimes it goes together and sometimes it doesn't. Um, answer that for me in the comments below. Tell me exactly what, what is dairy milk? And I guess, is it a line of its own? Or, you know, how does that work exactly? If yeah. you have any information, I'd love to know. Well, they're not quite as giant as I expected. They're about the oh, size of them. our quarters. I was expecting like well, from the packaging to giant buttons. So. Yeah. They're, they're actually small. <laughs> hmm. So, all right. Um, yeah. You already right. I already did without oh, thinking. Oh, it's just chocolate. Okay. Yeah. It's nice. It's just little mm -hmm. wafers of dairy milk chocolate. That's good. Very good. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, eight. Just at six, just because it's a piece of chocolate. It's a very good piece of chocolate, but um, yeah. It actually reminds me, if you're from I mean, I'll eat another. like the eastern part, northeastern part of the United States, and I say Wilbur chocolate, um, if you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment uh, mm -hmm. below. But it reminds me of the Wilbur chocolate's milk chocolate. I mean, yeah. With how smooth and creamy it is. Mm -hmm. And not fake tasting like Hershey's. Yeah. Hershey. <laughs> Don't make Hershey's mad. <laughs> Now, I like Hershey's, but there is something about Wilbur that's so... It just has a classic taste. Yeah. Well, Wilbur, I believe, is actually older than Hershey's. Oh, it is. It is. Yes. Um, yes. Well, at least, I think it is older, but I know definitely the Hershey 
kiss is younger than the Wilbur Bud, and the Wilbur Bud and Hershey Kiss are very similar. Yes. But anyway. That's a whole other story for yeah. another time. All right. Um, let's go to the, we'll end on maybe a chocolate, because I think there's only one more. Yeah, yeah, we're down to our last two. Oh, babe. Okay, oven baked. Oh, I like oven baked. Um, cheese and onion flavor. And I guess these would be crisps. I don't think I've tried cheese and onion flavored mm -hmm. things. That was really good. I think I'm going to like these too. Yeah, these are very good. Yeah, you get a little of that onion in the background. I have to say, um, from eating these earlier, I've yet to feel like my allergic reaction scratchy throat. So that's pretty good. That is good, unless it's because you're like coating it with other things. Or, we, we still haven't figured out the, the science behind it. Yeah, if anybody out there knows, let me know. Um, it could also be the tea. Maybe it's mm -hmm. like Watching cleansing it. it so. mm. That was good flavor. Yeah, those are great. I'm actually curious to, like, to compare the cheese flavors. Okay, yeah, that's very cheesy now that I can taste it next to the oven baked, just, you know, like more subtle flavor. Um, but I really like, there's something about this style of chip that just has its own good flavor to begin with. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I, or, sorry, quit. <laughs> she caught herself, so <laughs> be nice to us in the comments, please. We're trying. <laughs> We're trying. All right. It's tough when you call one thing something here all your life, and then you have to, like, completely change it. Yes. So, you all ready? Right. Oh, wait, hold on. I changed my mind. You changed your mind. Okay. I think. I can't find my numbers now. Okay. Three, two, one, eight. Nine. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, very good. Very good for a crisp. Okay. All so right. So I get to pick the last thing. Yeah. Which is a Yorkie original. Yorkie. Yeah, a Yorkie see. original. Oh, you want to see? Yeah, please. Okay. Yorkie. Oh, it's made by Nestle. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yorkie just reminds me of the dog, which is the Yorkshire Terrier. Yes. So I'm curious what a Yorkie bar tastes like. I like when they come in these little individual snappable yeah. pieces. Yeah, kind of like a Toblerone. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, I have no idea what to expect. Just keep adding to the pile. All right. That's a thick piece of chocolate. Yep, nothing special in between. Nope, but the flavor is very special. <laughs> it's good. It definitely, definitely reminds me of Nestle chocolate. Um, mm -hmm. Well, that would make sense. Right. But I'm sure mm -hmm. the Nestle yeah. that they get is slightly different than the Nestle we get, because that's how it works with yeah. Cadbury and all the others. Which you can even, you can taste that, the difference. Yeah, so that's just a nice milk chocolate bar. Um, very good. I'm almost curious now, like, to see Cadbury versus uh, Nestle. Oh, yeah. It's fun when you can like put them side by side. Yeah. Totally like some other element just came out of that one that I didn't notice before until I put it next to Nestle. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. Um, not quite sure what that element is, but you can definitely tell a difference that they're two different chocolate brands. Yeah, I think, hmm, what do you like better? I actually think I like the Yorkie. I think I did too. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, these yeah. are, these are good. <laughs> it's just like. Yeah, I, there was I don't something know. really good it's about that chocolate. It's almost a little fudgy, kind of like it's yeah. When you start chewing into it. Yeah, so. interesting. Okay, let's read that one too. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, okay, hold on. I told you I can't find my number. <laughs> and three, two, one. I did nine. I did seven. Um, it was great, but it was again just a piece of chocolate. So I like when there's something a little interesting to it. All right, so now that we have tried everything in this month's British candy box. Um, shall we rate the whole box? Okay. I already had mine in mind. Well, I did too, but again, my numbers are all over the place over here. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. I gave it a nine. I did a 10. I am thrilled by this box. Yeah. Kate and Alex, you did a really good job yeah. coming up with this. Yeah, I really like it. Um, that holiday box in um, December, I think it was, was great um but this is, there was so many fun things in here yeah yeah uh, definitely more stuff that i think is our palette our type of tastes yeah. and everything so yeah though from that other box the roast chicken crisps 
they were way up there and it's going to be hard to beat that <laughs> ever. Yeah. <laughs> so you can add those in any other box. Too. Yeah, if you're watching this. Yeah. Um, if you haven't yet gone over and checked out Kate and Alex's channel, they are In the Kitchen with Kate. Yes. I will put a link to their channel at the end of this video. So stick around so you can go over and check out their channel. Definitely check it out. They're really entertaining. Okay. What was, so, your, what was your favorite? Oh, that's going to be hard. Um, I know. Because, <laughs> like, I have to remember back over I what I rated everything. Ah, uh, yeah. I never remember, so I just start. Okay. Out of that. the savories, I really like this. Okay. Though this was a close second. I mean, those were only two savories. That's true. We only got two of them, um, which I like this as far as the savories go. I think I liked, if I can find it, wherever the wrapper got to. Did we finish it? No. <laughs> oh, I put it out of frame. Oh, I forgot about it. Yeah, yeah. I well, really I liked the here, wagon so. wheel. Um, yeah. That was really good. Uh, yeah, I think the wagon wheel. I'm going to go with that one. I would say for myself, either the dairy milk Oreo bar or this little bag of goodness up here. Um, I love these little gummy type things and the sour ropey things. But oh, there was this oh, guy was, too. The hippo. <laughs> yeah. It was adorable and tasty. Okay, most adorable. Yes. That one. All right. Okay. Well, that was, uh, I guess, the January British candy box. Mm -hmm. Once again, if you want your own, there is the link so you can get it in the description below. Go ahead and check that out. Yep. And, and do remember to subscribe to us if you can. That would be wonderful. Yes. And... <laughs> Until next time. So long. Farewell. Namadie. <laughs> we should we should do a lady in a tramp thing. <laughs> Come on, I was just